We are up in St. Pete today to do another boat tour for y'all. Jordan found a very interesting boat to show you. It's got an interesting backstory and way of being sold, so we're excited for you to take a look. I mean, everything about this boat is just awesome. It's cool, it's interesting. How many times can we say interesting? But this boat used to be a sawmill. It was originally built as a sawmill. Then it was bought and refit by the founder of Crocs. And then now it's been donated into a charity and it's for sale and all the money's gonna be going to charity. So let's go take a look. This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> So right away, I noticed the amazing woodwork on here. We also noticed this dinghy right away, but it's actually not a dinghy. It's just a way to make it more aesthetically pleasing and hide away the retractor for the diving board. I'm sure that's not the right word. What's it's the a word? lifting cue. I thought that was a cool way to hide it because right away I was like, oh, I like the dinghy. It like matches the boat, but it's not actually a dinghy. <laughs> Um, also, we've got some handrails that are obviously part of the boat. They're a little low, but I'm sure they could be added to easily. Huge cleats as well. And this is an aluminum boat. Everything is aluminum. Obviously, they have um, trim rings and everything for the port lights inside, but I think it's nice that it's just like flush. You can't even really see. You know how normally the port lights have a trim ring on the outside? Oh yeah. And there's like nothing, which is nice. Yeah, I mean ours stick out probably about an inch and it's bronze and, and it's sometimes you catch yourself on it, which yeah, is it's horrible. Sharp and you <laughs> cut yourself and it's not ideal. This is that's ideal. Yeah. So where you would actually house your real dinghy is up here. And there's mounts for that. This is an access for the chain locker, but it is much more than a usual chain locker. So this is the forward locker. It's huge. It's really like an equipment room, storage room. You can see that obviously the structure is aluminum. There's a chain there. Really, really cool. Really big. Nice heavy duty ladder too to get down in there. Yeah, that's closed now. And then forward of that, look at these, look at these windlasses. Shiny and beautiful. You got dual anchors. Dual anchors and a very large bowsprit. So I think the boat was like 58 feet, but then overall length 70 or something yeah. with this. 70 foot overall length because of that guy right there. And notice too, there's actually a water outlet here, it looks like, which would be nice to have. It's for washing the chain. Yeah, that's nice. All right, we have a furling head sail. Electric furling too. Is it? Ooh. What else? So it's a bug eye catch. I'm sure you noticed in the picture for the thumbnail or maybe so far that Jordan's put in there that the masts kind of lean back, so we're gonna research that because we've never really seen anything like it. But it's interesting for sure. I noticed these wooden blocks too. Kind of add to the aesthetic. Yeah. This mast, this mast, it's just, these masts are huge. Big aluminum. Nice sail bags too. Yeah. Now the Maybe. sails haven't been pulled out in a long time, but everything else is in pretty good shape from what we've seen. So I imagine they're in good shape, but we don't really know. Pretty good. Everything is in immaculate yeah, shape so that's far. True, that's true. I mean, yeah, think about it. Florida heat, look at this woodwork. That's hard to maintain. Yeah. Everything is just immaculate. So we've got a nice cockpit area. And your helm station is actually separate from this, but still nearby, which is cool. So this is a good area to sit for guests and everything like that. Maybe hanging out here on passage with autopilot, but you're 
actual helm station is right here. And realistically, you're not going to want a helm from right behind the mast, or the mizzen mast, actually, I'm behind now. So it's got little seats for you off to the side, which is nice, because most of the time I feel like we sail from the side oh, yeah. a lot anyway, unless we're standing. Especially if we're healing. Yeah. So you've got easy access to your electronics, you've got a bow thruster. That side has access to the engine room, which is really easy access. If you, Jordan, I don't know if you want to climb in there. So I am down in the engine compartment right now. You can see the base of the mizzen mast right there. Looks like we have an 119 gallon fuel tank there, another 119 gallon fuel tank there. You can see the level of the tank pretty conveniently right there. Each of them probably at a third full. Generator, main diesel. Very, very good access. And then on the other side, of the helm station, you have this compartment, which is actually a cooler. So that you have easy access from the cockpit and the helm station to your beverage of choice. It's not even just, it's a fridge. It's a fridge. So I like this cockpit, I like this helm station a lot. The only thing it could use is really some protection. The thing is, this boat was owned by the founder of Crocs and it was actually used more as a day boat, not really a cruising vessel. So it was used to help advertise Crocs and it was used as kind of a party boat as well. I, I don't believe he ever really cruised on it. So that's kind of what it's set up for right now. I don't think it would be hard to add a Dodger and a Bimini. That's really all you'd need. And then maybe something over this forward cockpit area as well. All right, let's go aft. So Jordan mentioned the previous owner, but prior to that, this was actually a working boat. So this was the main cabin, and the area we're gonna show you later used to be a sawmill. So it was a portable sawmill where he would go to different locations and harvest exotic woods, which is pretty interesting history of this boat. We've got another wooden block. We also have a nice two-speed winch for the mizzen mast. We have back here, you could hang your dinghy. We've got some davit system back here. The traveler for the mizzen mast, and then this cabin area. It's now two single berths and a full head, so we'll show you that. So we are down in the aft cabin. <laughs> and it's got two single berths here. Randy just hit me at the door. <laughs> Obviously an air conditioner. This ladder is just beautiful craftsmanship. I mean, that's just, that's awesome. And then forward of that, you have Randy in the, the full head. Yeah. So you have your sink, your shower, and then your head over here. You get this back in there, there we go. You got some nice storage lockers in the head for your towels and everything. <laughs> it actually has a hook for this, so it goes up here. Cool. Yeah, we've never had a shower in our boat, so it's <laughs> a little jealous. And the one thing I've noticed is it's kind of a true proper shower, a proper wet head. Yes. You know, there's nothing, there's no wood to really rot out. I mean, there's just yes. this little teak strip right there, but that's that's it. There's yeah. no, everything else is set up to be wet. Yeah, it's really nice and so easy to clean, I imagine. Yeah. Then you have, here are the port lights from the inside. So they're aluminum port lights as well. Cool. I believe down here is access to like the stuffing box. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's the, there's the stuffing box, dripless. It's a shaft. The cabin sole is just in such, such good shape. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I'm sure you can see Jordan's reflection in it. Yeah, you might be able to. All right, well, let's go forward. That used to be the main cabin originally and then this boat was refit in 2012 i believe i want one of these <laughs> so nice all right main cabin so you come in to the galley which is behind jordan you have a is it still considered a quarter berth 
It's like a quarter berth, yeah. It's like a quarter berth, and also your electrical panel. Carbon fiber. <laughs> and we'll spin around and take a look at the galley. It's a very nice nook galley, my favorite. Got tons of little storage areas everywhere. You have, I don't think this is gimbal. Maybe it is, it looks like it has. No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it's gimbal. But you've got a oven, stove top, toaster oven, microwave, good size refrigerator. Looks like it's a freezer and fridge. Nice locking doors. Granite countertops. Granite countertops. I was <laughs> surprised. I was like, that's heavy, but in a boat like this, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, nice sink as well. Two port lights in here for some lighting. There was one leak at one time from the winch that's above this. So this is the one spot where you'll see the cabin sole has some damage. But the leak has since been fixed. It's just the cabin sole. And yeah. maybe someone could make that look a little better. Yeah. And the whole structure of the boat's aluminum, so yes. it's not really going to hurt anything. This table, I love. Again, we love woodwork. So even though this is an aluminum boat, it has some very nice woodwork features. So it folds out, there's storage inside. We're both curious what type of wood this is, because it's beautiful. Yeah, if you guys know what type of wood this looks like, let us know in the comments down below. It looks really cool, yeah. some kind of exotic wood. There's just a few little wood accents everywhere that are really nicely done. So there's this here, that here. I believe all the trim in here is teak, but I could be wrong on that. But it, again, really well maintained. There's just that one spot. Now, this is, oh yeah, this is just a kind of another seat for the table, I guess. Yeah, just making use of space, which is good. Now this you will not see in many boats, but this is a serious standalone shower. Oh yeah, that's a big shower. That's the biggest shower I think I've seen in a boat oh, so far. Oh, for sure, and I don't think I've ever seen one with a black store. Yeah, like even in catamarans, I think that's bigger than catamaran yeah. shower. So you've got some storage areas in here, an electric Dometic uh, head, I almost said toilet. It seems like we're in a regular bathroom. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice medicine cabinet and sink, so I'll let Jordan show you that. But yeah, this head is just, I mean, it might be bigger than our, <laughs> might be bigger than our bathroom in our apartment. <laughs> I think I'm noticing, I think the doors are the same wood as the table. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they did a whole two-tone thing. So I think yeah. the I think the trim is teak and then they use something else. Yeah, I want to know what this is. It's pretty. Maybe just a different type of teak. You've got some shelving here. And at first it took me a second to figure out what this was about. It's so that things don't fall out if you're on a heel. Yeah. We don't have that. I just thought it was neat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a lot of things on this boat. <laughs> it's just like a locker here. And then forward of that is your beaver. Now you do have the mass kind of cutting through here, but I'm pretty sure there's probably a piece that connects these. I can imagine. As a big mass. Man. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty big. It's so meticulously maintained. Everything inside looks nice. It's easy to clean. I just, you know, that's nice. Randy likes it. I <laughs> I forgot to point out too that it has some spares of like the wooden blocks and things like that that might be difficult to find. So I thought that would be good to show. Anyways, go on with your tour. I'm in the V-Birth right now and I'm just gonna do a quick continuous walkthrough from the V-Birth down through the salon, over the cockpit, and into the aft cabin. So we're in the V-Birth now, turning around. You've got a hanging locker here. You've got your main head with a huge shower. You got your salon table, quarter berth. You're a really cool galley. Randy's <laughs> I love storage. She's searching through the boat more. And you come out into the forward cockpit. And you have the helm station, the aft cockpit. And then the aft cabin back here.
finish out this tour in the aft cabin. So lastly, I'm actually here with Roger who represents AMI Kids. They own this boat, it was donated to them, they're a charity, and he's just gonna tell us a little about it. Great, thanks for uh, you guys coming down and taking a look at the boat, we appreciate it very much. Um, AMI Kids, we're actually celebrating 50 years since uh, we started helping kids. Um, and we've helped in that time about 135,000 kids um, achieve a new future. And part of what we do is our yacht donation program. Um, people donate their boats to us. Um, my partners and I turn that into money to help support the charity. We work directly for the charity. We have a staff of seven people full-time working on nothing but yacht donations. Um, and Hannibal, who was very graciously donated to one of our really great um, people to support us constantly, Scott Siemens. Um, this is one of five boats that he's donated to us so far. So wow. Hannibal's a beautiful boat. Come buy her. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think? This boat is stunning. It is meticulously maintained, beautiful. I mean, I don't know, it's just so bright and airy. It's amazing. It is amazing. I would love to see how it performs on the water. I imagine it's great, but yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so unique mm -hmm. for what it is. I, I The story behind it, I just think is, is awesome. Like, I love the idea that it was built as a work boat, yeah. but it was also beautiful yeah. at the same time. Like, it was that entire forward cabin used to be a sawmill to, to mill exotic woods. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd the, the owner would sail it to exotic places, cut down the trees, and 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 mill them right on the boat. I mean, that's just yeah, that's so cool. Now, obviously, it looks completely different because it was refitted for a new purpose. Yeah. but just an interesting backstory. Um, I loved how it's an aluminum boat, but it they painted it white on the outside. They put the nice wood accents. They incorporated that in like the blocks and everything just kind of all tied together. It looked nice and on the inside it matched with the white and the t uh, wood accents and the nice woodwork tables and doors and things like that. It's yeah. just, I mean, they did a gorgeous job. Yeah, and you know, obviously the boat right now is kind of set up as a day sailor, mm -hmm. a party boat, a fun boat, maybe a charter boat, but it has the real potential. It's just a little bit, a little bit of modification. Mm -hmm. You can make this boat an expedition cruiser like you can yeah. go high latitudes with it you can sail anywhere with it. i mean it's just it's so capable it's ready to go as it is it seems like everything's in good working order mm -hmm. and you could take it and go where you want to go oh, for yeah. now and then little things that might pop up along the way you can take care of along the way yeah and the price oh my gosh i know i know crazy to me that a boat like that would be going for this price this is probably the best value boat that i think we yes. have ever ever toured i would ever. agree for sure jordan has the contact information we'll have details about the boat and pricing information as well down in the description below so take a look there also the information for ami kids they're yes. a great foundation okay. they do some great work that's the best part of a purchase like this is you know not only are you getting a beautiful boat like this but you're also helping an organization yeah that's helping the kids in your area yeah so it's not just money going to some guy mm -hmm. <laughs> somewhere it's it's money that's going towards a good cause and you're getting an amazing boat for the best value that I've ever seen in a boat. I mean, it's like, this boat is better than free because free ends up costing you so, so much, much money, money in the long yeah. run. We can attest to that. Yeah, I mean, this boat for what it costs to buy it, you cannot, you cannot get it built for you. You cannot oh, no. get it anywhere else. Everything on this boat, if this boat, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Like the, the cost Blue of Jordan's labor, mine. It, the, co the cost, to, the cost to build this boat, the cost mm -hmm. of labor, the cost of materials, the cost of everything on it is probably over a million, if yeah. not more. Two million, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it, it's crazy. Uh, oh. <laughs> Jordan wants it. I want this boat. <laughs> we don't have... We don't have the money though right now. Not right now. No. Nope. We, we unfortunately went the free route and put too much on our boat. Yeah. Hindsight, you know, because it... Yes. 
if we didn't put as much money into freebie, we might have actually been able to do something like this. So if you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it, go ahead and leave <laughs> us a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. We're going to try to find more amazing boats like this yes. for you guys as much as possible. So see you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong.